What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show for episode 63 of our MLB, the show 22 road show featuring Chance Bishop. Take a look at Chance on the season, batting 331, 37 home runs, a 997 OPS, and 108 RBIs here with the fish. And unfortunately, the fish are not doing super hot this year. What a surprise. Who would have thought that Chance going to a 69 uh, win team? You know, three seasons ago would have turned out poorly. Uh, apparently not Chance. But he got a lot of money to come down to Miami. You know, there's no income tax or whatever. So he got a big payday to come down here. And, you know, he, he's missed like three prime years of his career. You know, only making the playoffs once. And it was a wild card loss of all things, too. So it wasn't even like he came down here and was like, All right, at least he made it to the playoffs. They lost. No, I we didn't we didn't make the playoffs. We literally just made it to the wild card one time. You know, didn't make it last the first season. You lost in the wild card season two, and we're not gonna be in there this year. It's just it's just the sad cold hard truth at this point. But Chance of fielding it. He's gonna throw over to first in time for out number two. So two down now here in the third. It's a tie ball game against the New York Metropolitans. And we play the Metropolitans so many times. It's just like, hey, we need we, we need to make content. Who are we going to face? Any team? No, just the Mets. They're going to be the final team of the regular season. And then next episode, you're going to be playing them opening day. So down, down by seven, top of the sixth. Bishop. Sends that one deep to right. That one's going to be gone. Making it a 10-4 to 4 game here in the sixth inning. Not, still not good enough. You know, this Marlins team is just, they're embarrassing on a good day. On a bad day, they are just dreadful. Absolutely just awful. And, and you kind of have to feel a little bad for chance. You know, the dude hits his 2,000th career hit. You know, he, it's a huge milestone, and he can't even celebrate that, you know, with, like, a good run. Like, all right, end the season off with a World Series ring to cap off the 2000th hit. Now, we get blown out. So, uh, we kind of came back a little bit. But a 12-6 loss is not something to be happy about. Now, taking on Neil Rivera. Rivera, 14-14, year, 100 winnings pitched. You know, not... Not too shabby. I mean, the 14 14s, you know, less than be uh, less to be desired. But that's it. Could also just not be his fault. Wins, loss is very arbitrary stat line to go off of. But chance, ten game hit streak. Way to go, chance. You're doing your thing. Now next at bat, I was at the center and cut. Lazy fly ball to the center fielder for out number one. We're down by four runs. Also, in case you guys have down by six runs. Six runs. That one's a liner up the middle for a base hit. So we have two hits in the game. Uh, no runs, no RBIs. Uh, but hey, at, le at least we're hitting well over 300, right? I used to have an OPS above 900, almost 1,000 OPS. We have 30 two stolen bases. So we're in the 30 30 club, so that's cool. You know, I would have liked if we were like the 40 40 club, but I don't think we're going to hit 40 home runs or get 40 stolen bases. That just doesn't seem like it's going to happen, honestly. I mean, 38 home runs, still pretty good. Still could be in the 30-30 club. But, I don't know. Maybe Chance can just muster up. Ooh, there's a... I don't know what that was. That's... I thought that was a, a fly-out. Chance gets... All right, game. It's off the top of the wall, but doesn't count as a home run. Falls back into play. Like, that bounced up. So I don't know what that was, but yeah, we got thrown out first base because of it. There was something to fly out, there was a home run, and then nothing. It was just, just dumb. This game's dumb. I don't know what's up with this game. Uh, but we lose this game 7-1. to one. All right. Hey, the pitcher has a positive win-loss record now. Now, AJ Alexi, 31 starts, 9-15. and 15. A 508 ERA, 166 innings pitched. Um, just not not a great stat line for a pitcher. First at bat for Bishop, bagging that three hole. That one gets down, one hop, two hops the wall. As Chance on his high horse gets into second base, standing 
Kind of whoever shoots the bag and kind of does like a tiptoe dance to get back. Now at top of the fourth inning, here we go. Bishop sends that one to center again. That's his second hit of the ball game. He's got two for two in this game. You know, down by three runs though, so that doesn't really help us much. It was a 5-4 ball game now. We're down by one run, runner on first. That's a deep fly out. Again, just can't capitalize, it seems like, on things that we should be capitalizing on. It's still a 5-4 game, bottom of the fifth. No one's out, though, for the Brewers. Bishop charges this one. He's going to field it, and he's going to go to first base. Bishop going to first base right there. You like to see stuff like that happen. And you like to see him just, you know, make the good outs. Now here at top of the seventh, uh, down by six runs. Awesome. Perfect, perfect. That's our third hit of the game. We have 114 contact, and that one just gets all the way to the wall. Misplay in the outfield gets all the way to the wall. Bishop ends up at third. He tries to go home. Bad throw of the catcher. Playing the catcher is just super aware. Throw on the run. Bishop tries to go home, but throw just beats him barely back there. And it's just, what a shame. What a sh If we just kept running, we probably could have had it with the inside the park home run because the catcher couldn't have reacted in time. But now here we go. That one's not going to be caught. That's a big fly home run. That's a let's go fish home run right there. Number 39 on the season for or 40 for, on the season for Chance. I'm sorry, number 40 right there for Chance Bishop. You'd love to see that right there. Bishop hits, hits towards the 40 home run club after making the home run debut for the first time in his career this past season. So I like to see the power surge with this young second baseman. He's not even young anymore. He's like mid-20s. He's not even, oh, and we win. We somehow won in the night. We came back. We rallied and won a game somehow. Dude, Brian Medina, eight starts, four and three. Why did, why did the Brewers have no starting pitcher with an ERA under 3-8? You know, it's like the one dude was 3-8. Then it was five. Now it's four. All right. So, like, I guess the Brewers just left a ton of runs. Or something. I don't. I don't really know what's going on with this Brewers team. All I know is we're down by two runs. Down by two runs right there, and that's going to be a fly out to center. So one out now here in the fourth inning. Bishop makes the slow jog back to the home, you know, the away team dugout. Now up to bat. That's going to be caught chest high liner to the center fielder. Now if that just gets down, that's a nice base hit right there. Puts a runner in scoring position with only you know no one out. But no. Runner on first, though. Bishop up. That one gets down. Runner goes first to third. Bishop going to take second. So you have two men on. One out. Both men scoring position right there. So we can rally. We do not rally. I mean, we did rally. We scored both of them, but we also just gave up the lead right back. Awesome. But we, we rallied, which is good for this Marlins team. Uh, Mark Cox in his 490 ERA. You just lost the series to like apparently like the worst pitching staff in baseball right now. Like it's it's embarrassing how bad this pitching staff is for the Brewers, and we've apparently just lost all these games. I just like also this first at bat, the pitcher puts up his hands like oh, like he's a Scooby Doo character. Like he's that scared. Second at bat, that's a fly out to center field right there. Not what we wanted to do, but hey, it's it's what happened apparently. Now, very strange shadow. Apparently, I don't know. This is supposed to be a closed dome. Why is there a shadow like this? I don't know what's happening, honestly, in this ballpark. But Bishop's on second base now with a leadoff double here in the seventh inning. We're down by eight runs. Down by eight runs. Chance Bishop taking on Craig Rogers. Greg? It's Greg, not Craig. G Reg. G Reg Rogers down by 11 runs. Oh my god. What an awful, awful team this is. This team is so bad that it, it 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 hurts me to play for them. It just physically pains me. We have 32 stolen bases though, but just not it's not good enough for uh, for this team to be just as bad as they are. And it's just a sad situation to be Chance Bishop. You know, you enjoy a team because there's a build around you to win, but they don't do either. They don't build around you, and they certainly don't win. 81-81 and 81 for a straight 500 record. Not the ending to the Marlins contract.